Okay, folks, so this is gonna be a quick video about uh, just a couple of things that I've been working on lately and uh, researching. Um, and just sort of a couple of reflections, I guess, uh, philosophically. Uh, so, I would like to start out with um, a concept, actually, that I've been hearing in Buddhist circles uh, in regards to science and quantum physics. Uh, basically, uh, a very, a, a more common argument by authors such as B. Allen Wallace and just um, contemporary culture around Buddhism and talk around Buddhism is that uh, the scientific, the, the science behind quantum mechanics is in a way um, demonstrating that Buddhist concepts on reality and consciousness were intuitive um, and that now the science is revealing the reality, the empirical reality of these um, ancient observations on the nature of consciousness through meditation. Uh, and basically that's been one of the most interesting aspects of modern Buddhist uh, discussion, I guess you could say, I guess you could call it sort of a, a, a Buddhism moving on to uh, a scientific dialogue with uh, the world. And uh, I, I think, in general, I think it's, it's A, it's good uh, it's that they're, you know, speaking in contemporary terms and not necessarily becoming too stuck in Old, uh, older traditional language and, tr you know, the thought, the thought patterns. They're sort of adapting and sort of trying to see if their worldview and their concepts are applicable to the modern world and to what we know about ourselves in the modern world. Um, and also B, that the, these things probably are, cor are correlative and Causative, perhaps, uh, and what I mean by that is that some of the things that they're saying in quantum mechanics may very well be what they were saying in Buddhism uh, about you know the nature of reality of consciousness, the observer being at, at the base um, more so than the physical reality that appears as a manifest. Um, I've seen a couple great videos actually just made by um, other users that were very interesting. Uh, so. This all brings to mind, actually, a Ken Wilber book called Quantum Questions, and it may seem misleading because in uh, he's not necessarily saying that religion and uh, can be proven through science, um, but basically an argument that I've heard, and not just from Wilber, but a common counter argument to this new relationship between um, hard science and and spirituality is that look the whole point in a spiritual teaching is that it's supposed to be some kind of transcendental truth about reality some kind of ob observance that is perhaps timeless or something that has more lasting value than, say, scientific theories which change very quickly and very rapidly. What may be true today may not be true tomorrow. So, I guess to give you an example, uh, I, I don't know if Wilbur gives this example, but uh, basically imagine if, if Buddhism was trying to apply itself and say, look, uh, the science of Newtonian physics uh, helps describe Buddhism. Voila. But, oops, all of a sudden, now, now uh, a few hundred years later, we have the theory of relativity, more relativistic physics. Uh, what happens to Buddhism? Buddha, does Buddhism get thrown out the window, too? I mean, I know you don't throw out Newtonian physics entirely, but you get the idea that since science is subject to change, and if you try to make spirituality, um, if you try to... Uh, maybe reduce or equate, it would be a better word, spiritual concepts with scientific concepts. Once the science changes, what happens to the spiritual concepts? Where do they connect? Can they... What do you do? 
So that 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 is the main criticism against um, jumping on the bandwagon of quantum physics and consciousness and Buddhism. But I don't necessarily think that it's such a grossly mechanistic relationship, as in um, if a religion or a philosophy sees has an intuition about reality, and then something in contemporary science demonstrates that I think you can be flexible a little bit and take a take a chance and say look maybe this is what we were talking about in Buddhism uh, maybe this is this is making a lot of sense we've been saying this in our teachings it's very interesting how modern physics is coming to the same conclusions as us etc I think it's safe to do that because the intuitions have always been there and I don't think people are necessarily reducing uh, their religion, or just completely equating their religion with the physics involved in quantum physics, for instance. I think it's just a way to try to connect and, and make sense of it, and let's say we scrap all of quantum physics in the future with a better science. I don't think that Buddhism will be scrapped just because it developed some kind of relationship with quantum mechanics. If anything, um, further knowledge of the physical world uh, or more like of the scientific world, uh, further knowledge of reality in general will either help or hinder particular beliefs and concepts. And I don't, I, I think there is a degree of uh, scale and flexibility with religions in pertain, pertain this, particularly spirituality. I don't think religions will get destroyed the instant they start um, crossing the line between science and and faith. Uh, in fact, I, I mean, I'm a firm believer that eventually the two will be so intertwined that it will be impossible to really say, like, these they're in separate domains. I think to do that, yeah, you avoid Buddhism getting critiqued once science gets critiqued and changes, but I don't think that's necessarily a, a grounds to completely avoid it. I just think that's sort of a safe... It's almost like saying, look, it's too dangerous because this will get thrown out the window. These are timeless. But that that reminds me of, for instance, uh, the same thing Descartes did with um, the physical world and the, uh, the spiritual, conceptual, a priori world, which he kind of divided up. He created the... He was mostly responsible for, you know, dualism, uh, mind and body, etc., etc. The two have always been inter intertwined. And I think in the same way, spirituality, um, spirit and science, the physical world, modern terms for the physical world, and ancient term terms for the world in general, they don't necessarily, in the end, clash. I think they have the same source, the same heart. So, I think it's okay. I think it's actually very good that we're talking about quantum physics and Buddhism. And, uh, yeah, if your, your thoughts... Uh, are welcome. Thanks for listening.